time, government after government have come up with economic policies in a bid to improve the nation's economy, but no seemingly significant breakthrough has been recorded. Beyond the good intention behind the closure of land borders and other economic policies, some economists believe that creating an enabling environment for the Naira to be strong is paramount and should be the first step towards ensuring a stable and viable economy in Nigeria. Now, according to them, the discovery of oil has made the nation a monoeconomic one, leading to the downward slide of its economy. Two percent, as low as possible, so that. People can continue to buy the number of bread, the number of milk, the number of eggs that they buy every day. That keeps the farmers, the egg producers, the everybody going at full steam. Okay? And then make it possible. Exactly. And then make it possible for the people who want to continue to meet this consumer demand, the factories and the producers, to be able to go and borrow money at not more than 5%, which is what happens abroad. Before the discovery of oil, Nigeria was essentially an agrarian uh, economy. We had cocoa in the west, uh, granite, rice and skin in the north, uh, rubber oil and all that, and oil, palm oil in the east. And we were doing quite very well. But we had uh, what they call the marketing, uh, marketing companies, which sort of bought these things from the farmers and then exported them. So the farmers had uh, a market for their products, so they had no problem. Then we discovered oil. Um, I think the oil has been much, rather than be a boom for us, has been a do. Noting that over 70% of the nation's budget is spent on governance, they called for the need to invest more in infrastructure and cut down on governance. They attributed the inability to deal with inflation as indiscipline when it comes to money creation. We need to really cut down on the humongous uh, amount that is spent in go on governance. So that we have much more money to use for our development, from which all of us will, will benefit. It is, it is really, really scandalous that uh, only 20-something percent of our budget, in most cases, goes into uh, capital projects. About 70, 70, 70, 70 something percent normally goes into um, consumption. It's just not right. So there is need for the government to really review and reverse this uh, trend of the bulk of the money going into consumption. Inflation is the first criterion for attention. And the reason why they can't bring inflation to 1% or 2% as happens in, uh, in other countries is because they don't have any discipline. The government of Nigeria and the almost all African governments, the government of all African nations, don't have any discipline in the creation of what they call fiat money. That is why they fail. They take their machine, because they have printing machine, they print the Naira. They say they are dashing. The five trillion that you think they gave to uh, Amcom, where did you think they got it from? Did you think God dropped it from heaven? No, they printed money and gave to them. <laughs> the impact of such uh, uh, money creation is to drive inflation. And once you start driving inflation, every other thing goes uh, askew.